Everybody, uh, welcome to the Safe Word Podcast today. It's a little choppy out of the gate, but uh, we got a special guest on the show today, uh, Christina Mariana. Mariani. Mariani. Mm-hmm. Nice to have you, Christina. Thank um, you. I, my, I had a guest scheduled today, but she uh, died of COVID. <laughs> and i'm her ghost (laughs) yeah that's right you're the ghost of COVID. so we were we were talking a little earlier um you've only been doing comedy for five months Mm -hmm. and uh, you picked up and uh just moved to uh texas yeah to pursue comedy or is that something that you kind of discovered when you were here no i just kind of took off and then i went to an open mic just randomly and i really I, I've always kind of wanted to try doing comedy because yeah. I've always been really scared of public speaking, but I was always too scared to do it. And then I just finally kind of went for it and I just loved it. Yeah. It is a kind of like um, trial by fire. Like there's very much uh, people that have, you know, the best way to be any kind of social anxiety is to be on stage with a microphone. Oh, yeah. You really have to go all in. And you've probably felt just over those few months, you're like, oh, I got kind of a bit of a step going. Oh, I can get on stage. A lot of people are terrified to even the idea of it. Yeah. And usually the hecklers are the jealous uh, (laughs) comics, or not comics, but uh, closeted uh, fake comics that are consistently disruptive. And uh, I eat those people. (laughs) I love torturing um, an audience member that thinks that they have more problems than me. Um, <laughs> so you come here, uh, was, what was it? What month did you say? January? Yes. January. Like the end of January. Yeah. yeah. I came here December 15th, oh, 16th. Wow. And, um, it was weird, right? You know, especially coming from Los Angeles or sorry, St- California. Yeah. Yeah. It's sorry, okay. I Everybody it always thinks Los Angeles. Uh, Stockton, California. Yes. Yeah, Stockton. Shout out to, uh, the Diaz brothers who used to come to the comedy store all the time. Oh. I'd see them come after fights. If they were in uh, Los Angeles competing, they'd always end up at the comedy store Mm -hmm. uh, looking for Joe Rogan for the most (laughs) part, yeah. And uh, smoking weed. I think I got a picture somewhere of me. uh, Who's the older one? Nate is the younger. No, Nate's the oldest. You don't even care. I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't want yeah, fighting it's like or anything. Talking about famous hockey players from my hometown, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no one gives a fuck. But it did put Stockton on the map, per se, mm-hmm. right? And then I went there and I was horrified. It's a real uh, toilet. Oh, yeah. 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 Stockton is like the Compton of California. That's what I heard. <laughs> no, that's what I heard. Is no, it... I mean, Compton's in California, too. It yeah. Like, yeah. It has that kind of, uh, it's rough. Mm-hmm. It's sketchy. Yeah, it's pretty sketchy. Yeah. I, I don't mind it myself, sketchiness, but I was like, it was too reminis- reminiscent. I'm learning some new words today. <laughs> uh, reminiscent of my hometown. When I looked around, I'm like, oh, I know this. Yeah. I, I grew up in this. Mm-hmm. I need to move. That was something that took me a number of years to figure out. Um, out. Did you hear? I'm Canadian, by the way. Oh, yeah. Did you notice? I didn't notice. Fuck, yes! <laughs> I'm going to get my American fucking passport. I'm actually uh, a green card holder. Oh, that's cool. I'm a refugee from free health care. <laughs> and uh, I gave it up to um, pursue a, a mindless career in stand-up comedy. But I can apply for uh, citizenship, which I'm thinking of going. Like, there's 
I'm all over the place, so bear with me. But I think you understand. Yeah, my mom also had a green card for a really long time. And, yeah. And uh, then when Trump got elected, she was like, better pull the plug on that. <laughs> better get a citizenship. Like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I heard there was a dis there was some... He was talking about fucking kicking out green card holders, right? I think that might have been in the conversation earlier in his uh, climb to fame. Uh, my, he got, uh, my friend got fired by him. Oh, really? Uh, Tom Green was on The Apprentice and got fired by uh, Donald Trump. <laughs> How many people say that they can be fired by the president? I don't know. I no. Mean, not the at president. At least one. <laughs> I don't even know who the president is now. Is it this Biden character? Yeah, it's, I, yeah, it's Biden, I it's, think. It's weird that we're, uh, I'm talking about things that I couldn't give a shit about and you are being very uh, pleasant about it. I honestly don't really follow politics either, I. so I can't really speak on anything about sports. I don't really care for sports either. <laughs> Just see, I told you this was going to be a good podcast. I don't watch sports. People are very disappointed when uh, I meet them and they find out I'm from Canada and I, have, I could give a zero fucks uh, about hockey. Yeah. You know, and I'm sure that you dealt with that living in Stockton where you get these sports fans that are just the worst. <laughs> or you just didn't hang out with those type of people. Yeah. Sports fans are annoying. <laughs> I can't stand it. I don't mind playing sports, mm -hmm. but uh, people in my hometown that played hockey, that was something they did. We were right around skateboards and BMX bikes and vandalizing the city. Oh, that's, yeah that's fun right <laughs> you know what to this day um the sound of breaking glass it it fucking it's like a, a, a it's very heartwarming mm -hmm. for me to hear the shattering of a window i don't know what it is i think i because i threw a lot of uh, grocery carts and rocks through uh glass bus shelters oh, okay and uh in my, <laughs> in my hometown i was a holy terror did you how many times did you come home with the police how many times did I come home with the police? Is there more than one? No, I'm just kidding. No, no. I wish, though. That would be really? so cool and unexpected. Yeah, I want to be, like, tough. You, you want to be unexpected? I want to be tough. Like, but I'm your for, poor what? Italian mother, she would have a <laughs> fucking heart attack. I've seen my Italian friends <laughs> in Stony Creek. Shout out Margaret Avenue and Highway 8, just by the McDonald's on Millen. Mm -hmm. um, the mothers would beat them. Yeah, I mean, I've seen Italian mothers like punch, not like like uh, the slapping goes on and on and on. Mm -hmm. But I've seen a, a mother, and then the father—that's a different kind of punishment altogether. You yeah. get exiled from the family for fucking around, doing stupid shit. Yeah, it's yeah. Don't mess with it. Yeah, brothers. Yeah, I have two brothers and one cool. sister. Oh shit, that is an Italian family. Yeah. Um. I want to say your sister's the oldest. No, I'm the oldest. You're the oldest? Yeah. Fuck. Do right? I... <laughs> like, it's tough being the oldest. Yes. Yeah. I'm the oldest mm -hmm. of 37 children. We're like the trial runs, you know, for our parents. And then they figure it out. Like, my little brother, super if well adjusted. If they stay married... But yes. if your mother divorced or something, the family gets spit up, now you're dealing with the politics of some other tribal circles with a, a, a step-parent. You know what I mean? Right. But uh, Italians, they, they just grind it out. Yeah, they don't really... Yeah. My, they don't grind it out. Were you? Is this a Canadian stereotype, or did your family have a kitchen in the basement? Um, Was there a basement? It's California, so no basements. No, we didn't have a basement. A in garage California. with meat in it? Actually, you know what? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> boom. Garage with meat. Just hanging. I've never yeah. seen unwrapped flesh before on a, on a hockey stick with twine mm -hmm. sausage. I've never yeah. seen so much dried sausage. Who eats that much dried sausage? We do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice going home and just... And having dried meat? Yeah, it's so good. All the cold cuts and... I get it. Capicola, mortadella. Oh, mortadella is my favorite. Is mortadella, I heard, is made with horse meat? No, I don't think so. I think it's pig. It's the best it, one. Is yeah. it? It has a half, like, they slice it and there's peppercorns in it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I know my meat. Yeah, I I don't know. It might, I never see my dad kill a horse. Yeah. But. I just heard that mortadella, do you know what the translation is on that word? N no. It might mean horse meat. 
<laughs> I don't know. I know it doesn't mean horse. I, no. Okay. No. <laughs> good. But that's fine. Um, that's a delicacy, though. Like, um, um, what do you call it? Um, when uh, you have uncooked flesh, uh, tartar. Do you know what tartar is? No. It's gross. Oh. You've had sashimi, right? Yes. Think of that with beef. Oh. Is it kind of like carpaccio or something like that? That sounds familiar. Is carpaccio, is it like... It's like raw meat, but sliced super, super yeah. thin. Yeah. This is more uh, a choppy, chunky thing, I think. And then they do some mix with it. But um, yeah, have you eaten raw meat? I mean, yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm i not a picky eater at all. I'll try anything and I like most things. Yeah. Yeah. We weren't really allowed to be picky growing up. It was kind of like whatever my mom made us. And if we didn't like it, we could just go to bed. Or... Well, that's the thing though, right? Looking back, you realize your mother made a lot of healthy meals. Mm -hmm. They were probably about 10,000 calories too heavy. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, but I, it's okay. I used to go to my friend's houses for dinner. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a very social thing. And... Um, I remember seeing, oh, I got, oh, there's the pasta, the sauce, and the meat, mm -hmm. some veal, some marinara, right. what, uh, the bread. Like, I've never eaten bread like it, it tasted like steak. Like, mm -hmm. it was so delicious. And I would eat, because I was used to, like, you get your plate of food, your meal, um, maybe a dessert if it's a special occasion. But Italian dinner, not to mention if you've ever been to an Italian wedding, which is another eating event completely. But um, my friend's parents would bring out, okay, here's the first course. The, but it's steaks like this high. Everything's pop. I'm like, who else is coming to <laughs> over for dinner? Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. But you just eat. Everything tastes so good. And I'm, I'm, I'm drooling <laughs> right now because I, I, uh, I have a thing for like, I lived in uh, New York for a short time. And uh, I uh, lived on Canal Street in mm -hmm. Little Italy. And um, there was a number of Italian restaurants right outside my door. But there was one literally, as soon as I stepped out my door, directly across the street, the door was open to this Italian restaurant. And you could see in the kitchen and the lady doing the pot all day, mm -hmm. stirring. And I went in there knowing that I was going to have a really good Italian dinner. And um, I, st I went there like six days in a row for lunch and it ordered spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, every day. I think they thought it was a little nutty, but it was so delicious. Oh, no. I'm I've... so hungry right now because of the Italian food. Yeah. It's delicious. It's, yeah, it's the best. Lasagna? So good. Is it better than spaghetti and meatballs? It's a different experience. It's completely. It's, it's like just, I don't know. I like both of them. Yeah. I could eat both of them every day, probably, which I, I have because that's all we had. Like growing up was just pasta every day. and Yeah. Um, yeah, no. Um, yeah, I do miss those those feedings. I go to buffets just for that purpose, just to eat my weight and food. Mm -hmm. And uh, I do miss uh, the Italian cooking is uh, fantastic. So, but um, what is the worst food? What is the worst food? Bugs. I, yeah, I don't know. I've never tried bugs or anything, but. My theory is the more the further up you move in Europe, the worse the food gets. You start getting organs, yeah, you know, kidneys, like, just flavorless. Like, yeah. By the time you get to England, it's just I don't know. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? That like, makes sense. You start out in sense. Italy, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. really good, really flavorful, and then you go all the way up, and you're in England, and it's just you're eating pig's blood. Like, <laughs> how much of your Italian have you retained? Um, I'm pretty fluent in oh, Italian yeah. still. Yeah. How many people have you run into just in public? Where you overhear them speaking Italian. I never really hear it. Oh, yeah. I don't hear it too much. I no. feel like Italian, it's nice if you live in Italy to speak. But yeah. anywhere else, it's not really helpful. <laughs> no, it's not a very popular language. Like, you probably, you know, Stockton, you know, you're learning probably more Spanish on a regular basis than Italian. Yeah, I mean. Maybe? I mean, I used to volunteer for... Uh, a shelter and there was a lot of um animal shelter no it was like a, like a people it, shelter no oh, that sounds so bad it was it was like a i'm trying to yeah like it's just like kids without kind of families that were just like abused and yeah. um and 
I'm going to start crying. Oh, no, it's okay. There, it, a lot of them spoke Spanish, so I brushed up on my Spanish skills, like yeah. just kind of being around. Um, How long did you do the volunteer work? Like a year or two. Yeah, I was a teacher's assistant for kindergarten. Oh, yeah? For two years, I worked mm -hmm. with little kids. And when I said that, I just read stories to them poorly and did photocopies for the teachers. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I have a couple of nieces and stuff, but no kids for me. No. No. No kids. I bet you'd be Zero. a really cool dad. I would be a cool dad, but you know what? It's cooler than being a dad is not. Yeah, but it's pretty cool. That's too. pretty cool, <laughs> right? Yeah, I like I'm, not being a dad. I, I know. I was going to say, you probably enjoy not being a dad. Yeah, it's pretty nice. That's a pretty... Uh, uh, that's a good show title. Not being a dad? Yeah, not being a dad and just you yeah. jumping over a fence. <laughs> um, what's the worst show you've had in town? Um, I, all of them have been really fun. you got a good attitude about this. I think you learn patience from working with um, children that are upset all the time. Oh, no, those kids were easy Fine. yeah they were easy i don't know i am a really patient person i'm not really sh i think i had to be like growing up being the oldest kind of like yeah with my little siblings and like yeah shit rolls downhill yeah but um i'm sorry i forgot what the question was. no i do that all the time <laughs> i've had 20 minute conversations with people a lot of people who are actually watching the show are going where is his mind gonna go now i'm all over the place i that was <laughs> why i failed so poorly in school is i i couldn't just i couldn't do the the, the sit thing you mm -hmm. know and be in this thing it was too confined for me and uh i was a terror because of it. i disrupted so many classrooms mm -hmm. so many teachers almost crying oh. um uh, i had been attacked uh, a teacher strangled me what yeah Okay, let me explain. Okay. <laughs> I, um, like I said, I had a small group of friends in school, and uh, we kind of bonded to each other. We had some of the same interests and stuff, but it was mostly just to kind of out of protection. And because of that, we started to uh, take over the classrooms and stuff. Mm -hmm. And oh, the English teacher, British, mm -hmm. not really known for their patience. Oh. Um, and um, his name was Mr. Bell. So he's been dead for years, that piece of shit. Uh, he was a real bastard. But I kind of elevated it, too, with my uh, how I performed in school. Um, and for weeks, maybe months, we would scream down the hall, Mr. Bell, ding-a-ling-a-ling, ding-a-ling, ding! -a <laughs> Dang right yeah and uh he grabbed me by the neck one time because we'd scream it into the doorway while he was teaching a class okay and you ever fuck with your teachers at the catholic school oh, or private school our teach okay here in here in america teachers are nice no i never did because in italy where i went to Ooh. elementary school they will hit you they will straight up like smack yeah. you across the head is it nuns with sticks is that what we're no. dealing with no no it's just italian older ladies yeah. like old school italian women ladies. italian women get physical oh yeah i mean <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is that what is it who's more uh emotionally elevated to uh, uh an attack uh latina ladies or italian girls um i don't i, I think don't... italian girls are more malicious like they get right in they'll say shit about your family and your like things you've confided in them where uh a latina girl will probably just set your car on fire yeah i i don't know which one's worse i guess i, I don't know i don't have a car oh well then that one's better for you i've never driven a car no ever set your bike on fire i don't know. i could set my bike <laughs> no i'm just bragging i'm holding out to uh i don't want to drive a car no no um you probably drove here i did drive here yes how long have you had your license um i had my license like no uh sorry math eight eight, years. eight. yes eight are you, you struggle with math no i just uh, struggle under pressure i don't work well under pressure i know yeah, yeah. you go on stage mm -hmm. and have a bunch of strangers stare at you yeah but you handle it well it seems like you're finding your your center and that under the spotlight it's only because you have control right for me anyway i find that that uh focus that hyper like 
there's nowhere to hide. Right. So it's either get in and swim or spend the next week or whatever, how long it takes before you get on stage of just like, oh, that was so bad. Like, fucking kill me. Yeah, but I kind of like also when it's bad because it just makes me feel like, okay, now I know that I'll, I can do badly and survive. Yeah. Um, so I usually have a pretty good attitude, good or bad. It's all good. You have to. Yeah. You know, I've heard some people that I've taught, you know, some people will be, they'll have a bad set and that mm -hmm. becomes their identity. They didn't get me or I, I don't understand. Right. And they'll uh, use that as an exit for doing anything good after that. Yeah. I've I, been booed. Yeah. I've bombed. <laughs> I've had some good stinkers. I bombed in front of, I don't know, maybe 5,000 people on TV. Wow. Really? Yeah, it was brutal. Howie Mandel was hosting. Wow. Uh, it was an anniversary. It was uh, every year or every year. Yuck, yuck. So I took an edible earlier. That's what it was. I had a little CBD capsule and oh, my okay. tea. So I'm feeling a little washed out. Uh, Absolute Extracts, by the way, <laughs> is a sponsor. I still haven't received my uh, my parting gift. But um, what were we talking about? Cats? You saying how you were <laughs> <laughs> how you bombed in front of 5,000 people. Yeah. Yeah. I've probably bombed collectively over the last 25 years. I've easily bombed in front of over a million people. But That's I've probably done cool. about uh, over 10 million yeah, people as a uh, paid audience uh, collectively. Okay. But I've bombed a lot. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I think it's funny. <laughs> no, I mean, it just makes you better, right? That's, totally. Yeah. It's all, it's all trial by fire, and I enjoy a good fire. Yeah. Right? I can tell. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I had candles here, uh, but I, again, you know how many times I've been told I can't have fire? By who? By people that own uh, successful businesses that I uh, want to do shows at, and they put always no fire. Like even in your home? No, I can fire, but I'm not good with fire in my home. No. Just, no. Every, I yeah. got electric everything. Uh, I had to hide the candles on myself. <laughs> I just start looking at the fire and um, chanting and crying in the hallway, rocking <laughs> back and forth. <laughs> And uh, that's why I can't do it anymore. Okay. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, I know. No. I, I'll be fine. Yeah. You're... I'm fine. Yeah. I got a note from my doctor. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, you seem fine. Did you have any, um, you know, um, background in psychology dealing with these young kids? Because that's a pretty sensitive... Look, I'm not saying all the kids were a disaster mentally, but usually they're looking for answers. And if you're there listening... Uh, what did you tell them? Like, you need to leave your family. They suck. No, no, not oh. at all. They were little kids, so they didn't really know what was going on. Um, so I just, like, kind of, like, took care of them, played with them, just was yeah. kind of like a big sister role. Yeah. Yeah. I had, uh, is there still such a thing as the Big Brothers Association? I'm not sure. There, I mean. There was a thing mm -hmm. for a number of years, and I know it was across North America, but you could go fill out a form mm -hmm. and then they give you a big brother that would take you out and they you're more or less people that were considering to have children mm -hmm. that didn't want a dog okay would practice on the uh broken kid to see whether or not they were going to have a relationship and i remember i don't know what it was i uh this guy was a referral or something very nice super christian mm -hmm. i said god damn it in the house and they lost it Oh, yeah. I wasn't invited back. I had a hard talking to about... I remember that distinctly. I must have been nine years old, eight mm -hmm. years old. And uh, I said, God damn it. And uh, that almost brought the house to the ground. I mean... It's a bad one for them. Yeah, I grew up Catholic and my mom does not like me using the Lord's name in vain. Um, Even a God stub your toe, you can't throw a God damn it out there? Yeah, my mom does not like that. <laughs> what did you put in place of God damn it? Fucking N bitch. No, just kidding. <laughs> None cunts. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just, yeah, my mom doesn't like it when we swear still. Like, even when I go see her and I, it just slips. She I don't, like I that. never really, up until maybe a couple of years ago, maybe a few years ago, mm -hmm. I never really cursed in front of my mother. 
Look, we're both doing the same nervous yeah, hand thing, I, right? Yeah. We're trying to pick our skin off our hands. I don't, to I don't find... know. I just like play with my rings. I yeah. feel like. Well, I'm... look at us. We're like gypsies. Yeah. I I love rings. I... Yeah. I used to wear rings on both hands, but um, I got tired of getting them caught on stuff. Oh, yeah? And uh, a shout out to the uh, Great Frog in London. And uh, they this was the last. There's a jewelry company. Yeah, they have one in London, one in New York, and one in LA. It's called the Great Frog, and mm -hmm. they do all these great, great rings. Yeah. And um, I saw this ring. It's a gesture. Cool, right? That is pretty cool. It's and like a skeleton gesture. Totally. Mm -hmm. So this was the last one that they had, and they gave it to me nicely enough for free. That is nice. As a as a birthday present or a, a gift, nonetheless. But there's very few things that I like. What are your uh, favorite things what are my favorite things yeah yeah um i don't know i really like food that's where most of my money goes to is just eating like i should probably grocery shop but i just eat out at restaurants yeah constantly like yeah more than i should i should probably save my money and be better about that but i hate cooking you know my mom always cooked for me growing up, so I kind of was that's spoiled the that downside, way. Right? Yeah. She's figuring that she's going to show you how to do something. That's when... Yeah, I know. Helicopter moms, is that what they call them? They, they're just around you all the time. Oh, and then I never heard that. when you go that. out to the world and you can't function, you don't even know how to use a can opener, right? I can I can function. I just choose not to, you know? Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I mean, I will. I just prefer to go out and eat. Yeah. Because it's better than anything I can make for myself. For sure. Yeah. And you know that you there's certain places that have menus that you're more appealing to than what you got in your fridge oh yeah definitely like i can only eat top ramen so many times and yeah you know i'll do that sometimes i'll get a a, a ramen thing just as a uh, a comfort food mm -hmm. it reminds me of good times and bad diets mm -hmm. i've eaten some terrible things uh on the road a homeless guy i poured gas over him and anyway what no <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you you pull up root from stockton you come out here in, in january and you just start going open mics um yeah i didn't start in january i started it a couple months later yeah. because i was kind of like building up the courage to f finally go to my first open mic did you have a gal pal or a friend that was kind of like yeah yeah you should go you should go yeah, yeah, I kind of had a friend. That helps. Yeah. Um, and then, I don't know. I How many times did she come to shows with you and go, these guys are all terrible. You're so much better. You no. Can do this. No, they weren't like that. No? no. Your friends are way nicer than mine. I try to surround myself with positive people, I think. Yeah. yeah. It's hard. Mm -hmm. I end up with a lot of uh, weirdos. Yeah. And uh, death threats. Oh no! Yeah. Death threats. Death threats. Yeah. Uh, no, only about one once a year, but I've had a few stalkers. Really? Yeah, especially with, you know, the way that social media is. You know, I'm just like, there's so many ways that you can get in contact with somebody, mm -hmm. and it is uh, too much. Too much. How many inboxes do you have where you're just like? How do I clean all this shit out of here? Do you delete or you just let everything fill up? I mean, whenever I get a message, if it's like really encouraging, like about my comedy, I usually respond to it. Like I really... That will fade. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I feel like really happy because <laughs> I feel, I don't know, like it's nice to get encouragement because they don't have to go out of their way to do that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's very, that's nice. Good for you. That you answer those fucking idiots on the internet. I don't know. I mean, they seem nice. They have to be nice because they're crazy. Oh. If somebody just sends you, uh, oh, no, <laughs> don't listen to me. I get you attract a different kind of energy than I do through the internet. What do you mean? I feel like we have the same vibe. We have a similar vibe, but nothing like each other. Mm. We like comedy. Yeah. That's a vibe. That is a vibe. I need to get on stage soon. Yeah. Yeah. Like tonight or just in general? Just in general. Okay. I've got a, um, I have a special coming out that I shot in Denmark that's uh, uh, coming out on uh, Halloween. 
That's cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of red lights in the in the um and uh I'm looking forward to just getting rid of this thing. Mm -hmm. I've been sitting on it for so long waiting for the clubs to kind of open up to a certain degree. Is having a stand at special and not be able to go and do live gigs right. uh on a tour is kind of a pain in the ass. Not to mention um you need a new show if mm -hmm. everything's on the internet. Uh, you need to develop a new material to take to the people because doing the things that they've seen online, and I know everyone complains, but fuck you. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, getting the rest of this year finished so mm -hmm. I can get on the road and do some gigs. I'd love to go to Italy. Italy's pretty. Italy's fantastic. Where is, uh, have you been to Monaco? No, I haven't. I think it's in France or yeah, maybe yeah, right. Yeah, on the French Riviera, 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 Riviera. <laughs> uh, Riviera. Yeah, where's Con? Con? Uh, fuck, I'm stroking out here. <laughs> Con's music, but Can Can music, the film festival. I don't know. It's is, in France. Is it? We should probably look at a map before we start talking about the places on the planet. Yeah, I don't know where that is. No, no. We don't know where it is. Google it if you want to know. Um, yeah, I want to go back to Europe. You know, I lived in, um, not to brag, but uh, I was living in England for uh, six years. Really? Where in England? London. Oh, I've always wanted to live there. Really? It's so pretty, yeah. It's cool. Yeah. I was lucky enough to live there during a time where the comedy scene was really peaking. And, uh, you know, from a map... England is there's so many places around there <laughs> right. that you could the countries dozens of them that you can mm -hmm. be within two three four hour flight and really go into a completely different world oh yeah languages all across the board mm -hmm. um I love Sweden because you really didn't know need Swedish and if you were trying to learn Sweden uh Sweden <laughs> if you're trying to learn Swedish uh don't go to Sweden because no. they speak excellent English mm-hmm all of Scandinavia does, unless you're in the north of Finland with uh, blackout drunks, then it, their English is a little choppy. Yeah, honestly, everywhere in Europe, they speak English. Italy, too. Like, yeah. I went with one of my friends a couple years back, and she was like, oh, great, you can speak Italian in Italy. I never even had to. Everybody can speak English. And you're trying to figure brush up, right? You're like, oh, I'll get a chance to practice with the locals and mm -hmm. get my get my accent yeah. on, a, on a thing so I don't sound like a fucking tourist walking around. I'm Italian. Do you have an Italian passport? No, I have an American passport. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, but are you eligible? What does Italy do with ancestry uh, stuff? Can you get dual? I think it's pretty easy in Italy. I'm not sure. Yeah. But I think all you have to have is like a, a relative yeah. that's Italian. And then it's like, all right, we'll give you citizenship. That's cool. I'd like to go. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, a half a dozen countries I want to get to. Next year, Poland and Germany are on my list. Okay. I want to go to Poland really bad. I want to do Krak Krakow and Warsaw. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to go to uh, the capital of uh, Berlin. Is Berlin the capital of Germany? I think. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say. It's, yeah, I don't. I'm not. I don't want to say yes and it's no. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so many places now that speak or at least have English comedy nights, mm -hmm. um, which they didn't have, but it's globalized so much. There's English speaking comedy all over the globe now. Right. Yeah. And I mean, England must have been great because I love British sense of humor. It's just. Okay. Yeah, like Jimmy Carr. I yeah. Think he's hilarious. His wife is, uh, in fact, Canadian. Oh, really? I don't, I'll tell you the story how I found that out. Okay. Uh, the comedy store in London, mm -hmm. sitting, um, my Canadian girlfriend at the time, uh, we'll call her Ambitious, uh, showed Jimmy Carr her tits. I go, honey, show Jimmy your tits. And <laughs> she shows her tits, and uh, Jimmy goes, oh, those are lovely. My wife has a set of those. She's Canadian, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. He's yeah. so quick. I love it. He's great. Yeah. And if you ever see him, go say hi. He's very nice. He's yeah. very nice. I did um, an AIDS benefit with him at the Scottish Theatre. My manager at the time was uh, a bit of a wild man, and he goes, come with me. Do you want to go perform 
on this gala for uh, AIDS research uh, charity event and during the Edinburgh Festival. And I was happy to see Jimmy because it took the heat off of me. I go, if Jimmy Carr's on, at least I don't have to be super clean, <laughs> right? Right. You know, like we were talking with um, uh, the Sick Fuck show. Okay, yeah. And you, it's funny how people will brand it the show to be an edgy comedy show. Right. And then you do what they're paid for and they're, oh, they get all, some of them, mm -hmm. You, I force feed them uh, <laughs> until it's Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, yeah. I, you don't I, really get frazzled either. I, I know you talk, you got, a, you got a potty mouth. You say some pretty filthy things. Look at you, you're what? blushing now. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm not judging. I'm, no, I'm the filthiest, I'm the worst. I mean, my jokes are all very dark. Um, yeah. But I just... It's fun, right? That's, to be bad? It, it's just my sense of humor. I don't know. No. Well, this is the thing, mm -hmm. you know, being in a uh, um, uh, private school, mm -hmm. repression, Jesus, yeah, right. repressed. Yeah. You know, I mm -hmm. think that's why I pushed so hard, too, because I was I was in a, a shell right. most of my life, mm -hmm. my childhood anyway. And uh, now it's like, let's light some shit on fire and have a good time. Yeah, it's like I Comedy's don't feel outlet. guilty at all. Yeah, there's I don't feel guilty. Yeah. I've had people crying, yelling at me, mm -hmm. and in the same breath, uh, somebody right next to them has asked for a photo, you know, or an autograph or something like that. It's such yeah. a weird thing. So, yeah, be be uh I don't think there's enough villains in comedy. But the thing for me is, I feel like I think like all the female comics should be beating up the boys here. Beating them up literally? Or yeah. Or, okay. I think it might give them a little more character. To the guys? Yeah, they're spineless. Okay. I don't know. I mean, everybody <laughs> I've met, the, I don't know. Everyone's so nice to... See, I don't get that. I got spit on by... Um, uh, anyway, so you were saying? I was saying that I feel like dark senses of humor, a lot of it is satire. Like, I think people misinterpret it as, oh, she literally believes this. Like, she's okay with all these, like satirists yes but it's really satire it's kind of bringing like light to issues that aren't talked about that people feel uncomfortable talking about and you kind of like bring it to light and it's like this happens it's not british comedy yeah exactly it, it revels in that yeah and yeah. not to mention they're very ugly so the the comedy is so g great mm -hmm. it's not it's not driven like the you see american comedy mm -hmm. it has a, a um a plastic wrap on it mm -hmm. but when you see british comedy it's gritty it's so dark oh yeah a lot of it and it's a mainstream television for mm -hmm. a lot of those people in comparison um uh if you're a fan of the monty python uh movies do you know monty python yeah but i'm not a fan no okay yeah. this might this is why i'm mm -hmm. asking you because it's a very split street on that i'm a, a huge fan but uh a show that i saw in England uh, called um, The League of Gentlemen. Mm -hmm. And it's a sketch comedy troupe. These guys are all Ivy League graduates. Mm -hmm. They're all like Oxford graduates or something. And they did this three seasons or two two seasons and a Christmas special and a Halloween special. Mm -hmm. And the characters and the, the humor is so good. It's so funny. I couldn't believe it. I think it's the best next to a... 80s no 90s sketch comedy show with jim carrey i don't know if you're familiar with in living color it was yeah. it was kind of like um saturday night live but like really funny mm -hmm. uh <laughs> look at this jamie fox yeah jim carrey mm -hmm. tommy davidson uh, uh um fuck jennifer lopez for christ's sakes was one of the go-go dancers on this show um i'm forgetting uh, david allen greer i'm feeling bad i should know all these guys names just so talented and so funny and um you don't see a lot of casts of long form sketch and comedy that has everybody's a killer there's usually some sort of political thing involved and there's some weaker links in there mm -hmm. for whatever reason but uh, i still don't know what i'm uh, what we're talking about <laughs> cats did you say cats again yeah cats do you like cats no you but don't you like do cats? Do you think I like cats? I think you like animals to sit in your lap. Honestly, I'm pretty awkward with animals because okay. you've been bit. That my mom never liked having animals in the house, so we Mrs. never. Mrs. Sedry had... broke those fucking chickens' necks right in front of me. 
Oh my gosh, my grandma did that too. Yeah, so yeah. there was no. I, in fact, they hated my aunt's miniature collie she uh -huh. had because it barked a lot. They didn't have any. Look, an animal was either eaten or put to work. Right. Yeah. That's how it went over there. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but so I feel awkward around animals. I love animals. I just like don't have that inclination to like go up and pet one. If that. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. you've got enough friends. <laughs> you don't want to get bit by any of them. <laughs> yeah, my mom always scared me. She was always like, don't go. You're going to get some kind of disease. And I'm like, really? But it's so cute. And she's like, no, don't. Don't no, do it. No, because your mother, when yeah. she was young, you could die of rabies. <laughs> I mean, I don't... She probably was afraid that you were going to get rabies. I think that's what I was yelled at. Don't you get rabies. That's what my mom would yell at me for, too. And I'm not sure if it's just because she lived in Italy and their health care isn't yeah. as advanced. No, if you got rabies in Italy, what year was your mother born? 68? Wow. Yeah, 68. Yeah. I can read minds, by the that way. Was, yeah. What, what am I thinking right now? Uh, give me a minute. It comes to me occasionally. I don't mm -hmm. know if we'll have any of this on the show, but um, I've had some pretty uh, haunting um, premonitions really? of things that you cannot describe. This is interesting. It's very interesting. Yeah. I'm uh, spending the next... Halloween's a big day for me. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Um, so that's a, a very heightened uh, time for uh, magic, right? That's what I hear. <laughs> Didn't they teach you about Satan in Catholic yeah, school? Yeah, they, they did, but not, what, nothing good. What did good. they say? Nothing good? Nothing good about Satan. All right, Satan. Give, me, give me a breakdown of what first of all okay he's got uh he's tempting okay well basically what i <laughs> learned was that satan uh lucifer was actually the favorite god's favorite angel mm -hmm. and then he tried to like take his place and then he was sent to hell and that's pretty much everything we learned about satan and then adam and eve like he's depicted as a snake a lot like temptation yeah all of that yeah changes shapes mm -hmm. like yeah manifests itself in various things but um the um didn't they what did they describe hell like because that's a big uh deterrent right when they do the fire and brimstone and the things right yeah did you get the lady going yeah you know terrifying you into thinking that if you do anything sinned you will descend into a fiery grave of Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I grew up with a ton of anxiety over yeah. that because Catholicism, it's a, everything's wrong pretty much. Thank goodness you can go to confession and just like, you know, like and be fine. And how many of those people are closeted queers? I don't know. You I know mean, what I mean? That's the thing that fucks me. It's like, okay, you've got your, your textbook you got to go from. Mm -hmm. But I know that there's some cocksuckers out there with shit-covered cocks. There's a lot of queerness in the uh, so-called nice church, I'm, right? I mean, they, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm sure there is, just like anywhere else. <laughs> I don't know. You don't want to rat anybody no, out? No, I, I don't know. Like, Good I, for you. Don't tell. Well, Don't tattletale. No, I mean, I, I just... I know. I'm trying to get you to out some people that I've, I've never met. You hear that? <laughs> The dog? Mr. Whiskers is barking in the background. My ex-girlfriend's uh, chained up in the basement, and um, she barks like a dog when she needs to go for a shit. <laughs> so, isn't that weird? Yeah, I don't know. I just... Speaking of weird... Yeah. What's the your f favorite weirdo since you've been in Austin? My favorite weirdo? Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean... My two favorite weirdos are probably, oh, I guess you're one of them too uh, now, yeah. <laughs> I don't think that you think that I'm weird. I think a lot of people think that I'm weird, but I don't think that you think that I'm weird. I think everybody's I think, weird. Do you? I think everybody has their own brand of weird. Some people just smell like piss, and that's weird. Yeah, or, you know. You like, don't, you're not very judgmental. I said piss guy, and you're like, <laughs> you know what? He's probably good with kids. Yeah, maybe. Like, I don't know. Maybe it was a kid that pissed on him. I, maybe a kid pissed on him. Maybe he asked. No, I'm just <laughs> I've had people piss on me, and sometimes I'm awake, too. Yeah? Yeah, it's weird. I used to drink a lot. <laughs> I used to drink a lot. Yeah. I can drink a lot. Yeah. I, I've drank a lot. Mm -hmm. I've done a lot. Yeah. I've done a bunch of things. Yeah. Ugh. 
mostly illegal. Okay. Uh. <laughs> What's the worst thing you've done? <laughs> The worst thing I've done? Yeah. That's the thing. I don't have any shame. So I don't know. Depending on who you talk to. I've been told I've done some terrible things, but um, we're not going to get into that. Uh, we just want to hear about your terrible things. Mine are terribly... Um, yeah. It's bad. Okay. What's the worst thing? That <laughs> What's the worst thing I've done? I threw like a dead cat. Uh mm -hmm. Like um, I had a dead um, uh, ex grocery bag with a dead cat in it, and um, I found out my ex girlfriend was cheating on me, and I went to the party and put the dead cat bag over her head and zip tied it around her neck, so she had this cat juice oh. on her face and pushed her down the stairs. That, Isn't it? That, that was bad. Yeah, that's pretty. Is, is she the one in the basement now? No, that girl's cool. Okay, that girl's cool. She's got it down. That's good. But the cat juice lady. Yeah. Um, that's what I called her, the cat juice lady. Everybody in school called her the cat juice lady. But yeah, that was pretty bad for her. I think it's kind of funny, you know. And she had the, the worst part is she's allergic. <laughs> oh no, is she yeah. okay? She's. Uh, I don't know what she's doing now. I hope she's okay. Actually, I had a girl, ex-girlfriend, a couple of them hang themselves. That's horrible. It's bad, right? Yeah. I wasn't dating them at the time. This is some years past, and uh, I'd uh, <sighs> hung herself. <laughs> so we were talking about um, Cats. Like, s satanic magic and like Halloween, and you yeah. never told me like your powers. Like you my powers. You have like magic, and it's heightened. I can... have magic powers. Right, like you, that's what you were kind of alluding to. It's gonna get uh, there's some stuff happening. Well, maybe I'll take you out to a little fire in the woods where we burn babies because the abortion's legal illegal here now. Yeah, do you know that? Yeah, mm -hmm. have you ever had an abortion? No, no, uh uh. I dated a girl that had 30 of them. Oh, in a month, <laughs> six different guys, 30 abortions. How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that bad at math. <laughs> I smell uh, bullshit. <laughs> no, I have a vagina. I know you can't run that many babies through a uterus. You can't I'm pretty do... gullible, but yeah. I had my wits about me on that one. No, I get it. I get it. Baby, um, that's the show, everybody. Stay tuned next week when we get down to uh, satanic rituals with um, abortions, um, which I used to sell. Um, uh, I lived over behind a hospital, and I'd go through the uh, um, organic trash bin mm -hmm. and get what? You know, ever seen Fight Club? I have seen Fight Club. You know when they go in the vat and get all the flesh out of it? Mm -hmm. Well, I used to go um, and take all the uh, tissues and... Uh, fetuses and make wallets and sell them at the beach at a nude beach in vancouver oh. so baby skin wallets naked to uh strangers okay where can people find you where can people find me yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe in your basement i don't yeah. know next to the <laughs> dog <kidding>. lady <laughs> we'll see how they both gotta go for a crap <laughs> Uh, on the internet, oh, social, like social media. media, yeah, you okay. can have a bunch of fucking weirdos. Good luck with this. Yeah. Uh, oh, these guys, your fans are so nice. Well, you know, um, mine you're, are not. No, they got rabies. Oh. If your mother saw a group mm -hmm. of people walking out of my show, she would say, "How do you say? Be careful, you'll get rabies in Italian." Uh, sta attenta, pigli rabies in italiano. I okay, said in Italian, good. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, the, but do the mother hand and everything. Oh, yeah. Do you, do you want me to... Yeah, let it rip. Okay. Sta attenta, pili rabies in Italiano. Okay. <laughs> Just remember that. Don't get rabies. Um, thanks for listening to the show, everybody. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me. This was really fun. It was fun. It was weird. Yeah, And uh, <laughs> a lot of people think this is weird. But thanks for listening. <laughs> like to see most of the human race killed off because it is unworthy. It is unworthy of the gift of life. I don't care what society thinks. They're nothing anyway. They're no better than me. Until we have a safe word, we will not stop. Have you ever thought what it would be like to see a person's head amputated face? Think of things so horrible that the human mind cannot imagine them. See all this and more when you see on stage, in person, that crazy man.
set apart from people. I like to be hated. Safe word with Jason.